Almost any city in Asia Minor is built on layers and layers of history. And here in Turkey, you're constantly among cities of classical antiquity. It was on a, a battlefield near here that Julius Caesar came and saw and conquered. And it was at Tarsus where Antony first met Cleopatra. It was at Gordium that Alexander the Great cut the Gordian knot, and at Ephesus where they say the Virgin Mary died. And here, among all these cities, here on the shores of the Black Sea, is Trebizond. Trebizond, the Dodge city of the last Byzantine Empire, the last outpost of the Greeks, has more than history. It has legend, too. It was here that Jason and the Argonauts sought the Golden Fleece, but didn't find it. What they might have found, and certainly would find today, is a city of enchanters. For Trebizond has always been the home of sorcerers, wizards, alchemists, necromancers. And the Turks blame all this on the Greeks. It was the Greeks, they say, that made Trebizond what it is, a wicked city where you can find a magician who'll spoil your neighbor's crops for you, or make him impotent, or ill, or even dead. It's a sort of a Hampstead Heath of the Black Sea coast, full of tricksters and dancers and acrobats, con men, pickpockets. And there's no close season on superstition here. The gullibility of mankind, of the hilly villages hereabouts, brings men and women to Trebizond for charms, for love potions, or for something more lasting and final. here if they're sick, because bears are more than mere entertainment. They're therapeutic. There's nothing like a brown bear to cure any ill. All you've got to do is let them stand on your back, and away goes the pain. Because it's magic, you see. Being a Black Sea port, a lot of the men here earn their living from fishing. And being Trebizond, the fish they seek most earnestly are magic fish, fish with great powers as an aphrodisiac. The Emperor Hadrian, as well as building that wall up in Scotland, built a large pillar here on which he put a brass model of this fish, so that it would attract the real fish to leap ashore, making it unnecessary to go to sea at all. Although the pillar and its brass fish have long ago disappeared, there are always those who want to take a shortcut to success. So here on the quiet corners of the beach, you'll find a wizard selling fair winds to the fishermen, turning an honest lira or two by casting spells which will charm these fish into their nets. Or in back streets, you can buy spells which bring happiness or harm, success to you or disaster to your enemy, youthful beauty to women or youthful potency to men or charms against the evil eye. There's hardly a car in Trebizond that doesn't carry the blue beads which protect you from evil, the ribbons which guarantee safety, the extract from the Koran in Arabic. And if you're unlucky and the evil wind touches you and makes you sick, there's only one cure, and you'll find it here too. It's the breath of a wizard, for a wizard's breath is sharper than the knife of the physician. The Turks of the villages have always been a, a simple people, always at the mercy of the sorcerer who can, or who says he can, write in Arabic, which is not only the language of the prophet, but the language of knowledge and power as well. At the mercy of the man who says that the cure for disease is to burn a piece of a dead man's shroud under your nose. The government has outlawed these frauds who prey on the superstitions of the ignorant. But you'll find them still here in Trebizond. <laughs> 